Woo! Hello everybody, um, I'm Jeffrey Morrison and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. <laughs> yeah, I recently changed my uh, YouTube name to kind of differentiate, uh, to kind of set myself apart from the other Jeffs, uh, Jeff Morrison's, so it was a heck of a lot easier to just make up a totally different channel name than uh, to do, just stick with my name. So I just included my name in the title, because my name is spelled with E-R-E-Y, my first name, and then M-O-R-R-I-S-O-N for the other part, so. How's everybody doing today? Um, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I had a short day at work, so I decided to film another whip and chat of uh, Paint with Diamonds Noah's Ark. 35 colors, 45 centimeters by 30 centimeters. Off camera, I finished another section. I've been doing like small square sections of this, so I finished another section and now I'm just on the top uh, left hand corner and then I'll be done with this canvas and then uh, I'll do an unboxing video of the my next canvas which is gonna be like a tiger the world that once was I believe from Jojo's art I showed it probably on my introduction video so I'll do that uh, this whip and chat's going to be also a continuation of the 100 getting to know you questions. So I'm going from like question 11 to 22 because a couple of the questions don't apply to me. So that's how it's going. So hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Uh, as for me filming, it's going to be when I can <laughs> on my days off. Uh, my work schedule has been kind of crazy because of uh, extra cleaning jobs to do at work. So hopefully I'll calm down in the next uh, week or so so I can film a little more regularly or my schedule can revert back to what it was. So other than that, just uh, if you're interested, subscribe and hit the bell to receive uh, notifications so you know when I've posted a, another video. So, there you go. <laughs> okay, um, so question 11. Uh, what is my child's proudest accomplishment? I don't have any children. I'm single, not married, so... Yeah, I'll just skip that one. <laughs> but if you want to share your child's greatest accomplishment, if you want to answer some of these questions in the comments below, yeah, that's good. So, And you can answer the questions, the previous 10 questions in the previous video if you want to. It's totally up to you. Uh, this is uh, on signupgenius.com. It's where I find this getting to know you. So... Okay, so question 12. What is my favorite book to read? Uh, the Expanse. It's uh, Leviathan Rising, I believe. It's the first, first book in the Expanse series. I've read that twice. Or completely through once, and I've started it a couple times, but I finally went through it, and now I'm on the third book of it which I haven't read it, it in a bit, but that was my jump into science fiction there. Uh, Levi Leviathan Rising, so it's The Expanse. And there's like a show based on the books. It's probably in its fifth season or something now, but I don't really watch that show. So I just read the books. They're good. It's science fiction. It takes place in space, so it's all good. Uh... What makes me laugh the most? I'd say sarcasm. For Garfield comics, that kind of sarcasm. Just kind of pointless, funny, good feeling stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
What was the last movie I went to? What did you think? Wow, that takes me back a couple of years. A few years. Uh, I believe that was The Force Awakens, that Star Wars movie. It was the last time I was physically in a movie theater. It was okay. I, I don't know. There are mixed feelings about Star Wars, but what did I think? I think it was okay. Star Wars movies aren't great. Like, they're not the best thing ever, but they are watchable in my opinion, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't mind Star Wars. It's science fiction. It's kind of neat. So, yeah. What did you want to be when you were small or a child? Uh, writer, I guess. I've kind of written like journal stuff a couple of years ago, but it's not a consistent thing by any means. Yep. <laughs> a writer, I guess. Uh, uh, what does your child want to be when they grow up? That doesn't apply to me, but... That's open to answer for anybody else in the comments down below <laughs> if you want to participate. Okay, what I gotta like place a couple drills here too. Okay, what's V on here? Oh, number one, sweet. Uh, child, okay, uh, 17. If I could choose anything to do for a day, what would it be? Diamond paint, drink coffee, and stream an audiobook or listen to music. But that's usually sometimes my days off, most of the time. Yeah, and meditate for a good hour. So, yeah. <laughs> Just being able to sit down and do this is great. <laughs> yeah just relaxing watch a cycle of news even if it's like horrific these days it's just good to be in the know it's just good to have an idea of what's going on even if it's terrible but awareness is good any sort of information is good and i like learning something new every day so if I can learn something from the news or just like a random fact on Instagram or Facebook, where I usually am, that's what I'll do. <laughs> it's good to learn something new every day, so even if it's like a really weird detail or something, even if it's a random fact, at least you know something new, so it's all good. Okay, V1. Okay. Yeah, it can be hard a lot of the time that I've been busy lately to like just be able to sit down and uh, do this. Some people are very lucky that they can sit down and do this, or that's what they can do at the moment. So, but hey, there's nothing wrong with enjoying a hobby, or if this is what you can do. If you have certain limitations at the moment, then yeah, by all means. It's just keeping you busy. It's like healthy to keep your mind busy. And yeah, it's good to have diamond time too, away from the canvas, so yeah. It's just your own discretion, really. But as I mentioned before, I could probably do this for hours <laughs> if I really wanted to uh do 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 choose to, okay that was 17 18 uh favorite game or sport to watch and play not really a big sports buff to tell you the truth uh I wouldn't mind watching uh, Wheel of Fortune or something like that. Uh, I kind of think of Wheel of Fortune as Hangman. So, 
that's kind of fun. Not really a heavy TV watcher I used to be, but yeah, that's kind of tapered off. I've really moved to listening to music and uh, audiobooks. I just recently finished a audiobook that was 24 hours long, so now I'm listening to I Am Legend, so yeah. <laughs> My habits have kind of changed as I gotten older. Uh, would you rather ride a bike, ride a horse, or drive a car? Uh, drive a car. I did learn how to ride a bike, but that really didn't stay with me. Ride a horse? Horses are great, but not my cup of tea. Love horses, but nah. I wouldn't be getting on one. <laughs> so, car it is, and automatic transmission. I never learned uh, manual or stick. So, I just learned automatic, and that was hard enough. That was kind of a fear I had, uh, learning how to drive. But I just, uh, responsibility and having to pay the bills kind of kind of having to do it to get fully licensed was took vast majority and I just shook the fear off and went and did it so what would I sing at karaoke night wow uh music is life basically for me so that's uh like nailing jello to a wall basically <laughs> to figure out uh, what a song uh, I guess one that really pops into my head would probably be like uh, My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion the theme to Titanic to tell you the truth I don't know just such a memorable song I guess it's just one that popped in my head. I could probably sing like hundreds of different songs. Yeah, that just, it's a space for an answer. That is quite a broad spectrum answer because I listen to almost every genre of music. And believe me, I put my playlists on random and it's random. <laughs> Uh, what two radio stations do you listen to in the car the most? I'm Canadian, so these might not be your radio stations, but... Uh, 105.3 Virgin Radio. These are FM, on the FM dial. And 107.7 uh, Today FM. That's the, that's the Stratford, Ontario station where I was born. So, those two come in. Uh, Virgin Radio, I believe, is uh, London, Ontario, or Toronto. I, th I think it's London, Ontario. Uh, I could be wrong, though. But, yeah. And I think those are the right spots on the FM frequency. Most of the time, if I get, like, a new CD, or I have quite a CD collection, I pop in a CD every once in a while as well so and yeah I listen to the full CD <laughs> usually on repeat because my car automatically repeats the CD once it's gone through the tracks so I'd say about 75% of the time it's uh, CD and then 25% of the time it's radio so don't get me wrong I do pop in old CDs like I dig through my stash, which is just everywhere in my bedroom, on shelf. So I just kind of move stacks of CDs. I do listen to music digitally, but I'm not... I was more CD-oriented. But I do listen to YouTube music to get the mix of music of my favorite music, of course. So... I did try having a CD player beside my drafting table here, but 
yeah, the headphone jacks are being phased out of those CD players, so for some reason I ended up with a CD player or boombox, whatever you want to call it, without a headphone jack. It was like external speaker jack instead, which makes no sense to me. There's already speakers in the unit, but I guess if you want surround sound or something. But I digress. <laughs> okay, and I'll uh, question 22. Yeah, I just added a couple. Instead of just doing 10, I just added a couple more because of the children. Because I don't have children or married. So just so you know, <laughs> single. Okay, uh, would I rather wash dishes, mow the lawn, clean the bathroom, or vacuum the house? Uh, I've basically done like all of those, so, and I work sanitation, so cleaning's kind of standard for me, so, yeah. <laughs> so, if you want to <laughs> respond to any of those, uh, certain questions, uh, and down in the comments below, it'd be great to hear your viewpoint, or see your viewpoint. And the previous tad in our, in our previous video, so there's a hundred, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to answer all 100 exactly because of the nature of what my children want to do, which I don't have, but yeah. So yeah, that's the getting to know you questions <laughs> for a section. So, uh, hope everybody's doing well. Uh, now we'll just like chill and place a few more drills for a bit. Uh, yeah. We're officially like in a 20 something day lockdown and where there's a curfew of uh, to 8 at 8, 8 p.m. Anything beyond 8 p.m. you're really not allowed out. I really got to get off COVID, figure out another <laughs> topic, really. Uh, yeah, we're under curfew. Uh, I guess it's starting to show improvement. And there's 2,000 and something cases today alone compared to like 3,000 and something cases last week. So I guess the lockdown's helping a bit. But, yeah. <laughs> yep, Joe Biden gets uh, inaugurated in a couple days. I still watch CNN and MSNBC. I still watch American news to see what's going on. Like, it's kind of unavoidable. But, yeah, I try to stay in the loop of current events. It, I think it's important to know what's going on. Even if it's just a tidbit of detail. So, yeah. Must not be very many Vs in this section. It is mostly sky. It's gonna be mostly clouds in this uh, upper left hand corner here, but. Yeah. I don't know if I can adjust this anymore. The stuff going totally whack. I do kind of a flexible stance. So. There you go. Yeah, that's a little better, but... Yeah. <laughs> I really don't have the best angle, but... I can only clip so much onto this corner of my desk here. It's a very creative clip, but... It's actually done well for the couple videos that I've used it for, considering I'm shooting on my phone, so that's good. Uh, yeah, I'd like to thank everybody who's uh, supported the channel ever since uh, I did that introduction video uh, with uh, Miss Crochet and Coffee, her uh, gathering of uh, content creators. And I was one of the new ones, so it it was my first year doing it. So, and literally my uh, first video on YouTube. <laughs>
was a whip and jab. So kind of introduce yourself for an hour. That was an excellent way to get the incentive to start YouTube. That That's awesome. I didn't realize she had done it in the past years, but once I watched her most recent whip and chat from last Friday, or snippets of it, yeah, she's done it for a few years, so that's really awesome, and I do appreciate that uh, she uh, gives other content creators a uh, part of the limelight, but yeah. Everybody's out there, has different viewpoints, and uh, likes different uh, subject matter and all that for crafting or diamond painting in general. But yeah, I do love the variation of channels and content that is on YouTube. Even if I don't crochet or uh, cross-stitch or scrapbook, it, it's great to see that there's passion out there for crafting in general. My mom crochets, but yeah, she's done like tons of afghans and infinity scarves and yeah, she likes working with her hands. So I probably got that from uh, my mom's side of the family. So. Oh, my dad works with his hands too because he's an auto body mechanic. Uh, he works in Stratford. He fixes transport trucks, keeps them on the road, so he's an essential worker as well. And he's done that for 25 years. I might be repeating myself, but if this is your first whip and chat with me, then uh, welcome. <laughs> Always great to see new faces and uh, comment to people. Yeah, because I do have a YouTube app where I can see uh, comments without having to be on YouTube, so that's handy. And I do love responding to comments and liking comments, so that's another great interaction that I can have with you guys. So that's another reason why I like this format. <laughs> I have uh, broadcasted or live streamed on Twitch when I was in my video game phase. I did live stream uh, a few games but ever since I started meditating like 400 and something days ago I have headspace it follows it keeps a tally of how many days you've meditated for how long and I'm at like day 400 and something as a streak so that was the app that started me getting into meditation then I got uh a couple more apps. I have Sync Tuition. That's like 25 minute binaural meditation before you go to sleep. It's a little pricey, but I've gone through all the levels. It it helps you eases your mind before you go to bed, in other words. It's another way to meditate. But yeah. Uh, I have the Calm app. That's another meditation app. And there's another. I don't. I use four meditation apps. And it's well within an hour. I've started meditating on Headspace for uh, 20 minutes. Like there's uh, daily sessions that you can uh, listen to. So I went from like five minutes or whatever or 10 yeah I did started with 10 minutes and then yeah went from there and then this year I've decided to go to 20 minute sessions on headspace and then I just use my other apps accordingly I don't really have too much of a choice in uh, length of meditations unless I do semi guided meditations and uh choose a time limit but I kind of do like the guided meditations where you kind of get like a where you kind of learn a lesson in the end about meditation 
you kind of learn about the aspects of meditation throughout these apps. So I have shared uh, the Headspace quotes at the end of those 20 minute meditations, but lately it hasn't worked very good. So I stopped sharing those, but the Calm app, after I do a meditation session, it gives you like a quote from somebody that it's related to the session and I share that on Instagram or Facebook so lately it's been Facebook so however I can share those I'll continue doing so so yeah and people seem to like those on Facebook and Instagram so yeah I've mostly done it on Facebook just on my Facebook page so I don't know at this point whether I want to start a face group book group related to this channel or not. I don't know. It's probably too early, but if somebody wants to join another group on Facebook, I'd be open to setting that up for the channel. And you can you could display your whips work in progress or any crafting related stuff and it would be another way to connect with me and another interaction with the channel outside of YouTube so if anybody wants me to do that just let me know in the comments down below and it's pretty easy to set up so. I'm on Facebook a lot of the time I've been on my phone quite quite a bit I'm yeah, stuck on it. I really don't use my laptop anymore. It's an old laptop, so my phone's slightly better, but it's older, but it's just easier than turning on my computer and having to face a Windows update constantly, so. <laughs> I bet you once I turn on my laptop and plug it in, I'd, it would be updating for a few hours, and that's kind of counterproductive. Like, I could just, like, turn it on and just let it update, but just, yeah. <laughs> it's just so much easier to have a cell phone, a smartphone these days. They're just standard for most people, especially as YouTubers. A lot of you are lucky to have a tablet. My mom has a tablet. She uses it daily. That might be something to consider, too. And because I've been writing down these uh, 100 getting to know you questions, I could print them off, but yeah, this works. I could get a tablet in the future. Like, it does kind of help, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. I'm I'm just starting out, so yeah. Just doing this, this interaction is just pretty good so far I can only build on from here so that's my main aim just to create content for the moment and then just build upon it and interact with the crafting community as a whole <laughs> I don't think there are very very many V's I've at least placed a couple drills so that's a goal in these uh, weapon chats but Getting to know me is another aspect as well. And getting to know some of you better. And meeting new content creators and uh, new YouTube users in general. Or general people who just like watching YouTube is, yeah. It's just about community for the diamond painting and crafting communities. So, yeah, I'm glad to be a part of it, so. This is like the perfect opportunity to interact besides Facebook and Instagram. So it's all good. I'll probably keep putting my Facebook and Instagram stuff down. I don't know if I could put my email in. It's just basically my first and last name, all lowercase at gmail.com. If you wanted to send me an email that way, I guess. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just constantly figuring stuff out as I go here. Oh, man.
throwing drills all over the place. Oh, that, that's great. Fantastic. Doesn't that happen to us all? I think that's all for V. But yeah. Oh, da, 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 da. Anyway, if you miss the symbol, uh, the bags are labeled pretty good, so I'm good there. <laughs> I don't know how many of these tags are out there, these getting to know you questions and other tags. I don't know what's out there. I was just lucky enough to have these hundred getting to know you questions that I'm slowly working through. It's all good. <laughs> okay, next symbol here. I don't know, I'm just kind of thinking on my feet. Somewhat, but it's all good. <laughs> They'll be unboxings and yeah. I just like working on one canvas at a time, so. I do have storage boxes. I do have storage boxes like alternate storage. Uh, these are usually for diamond art clubs because they have those individual sealed bags with the uh, diamond numbers on them so I usually just get like painters tape or whatever and uh, put the numbers on here I kit up with uh, diamond art club for sure otherwise with paint with diamonds they give you the drills pre-sorted and in baggies so I don't mind other either way so and I do keep my extra drills for every canvas. Yeah, I don't have fancy storage, but those are excellent. <laughs> Considering they're from the dollar store and I have like one, two, three, four, six of them. So I could do three, six, nine, twelve. There's twelve colors per uh, storage unit, so. 12, 24, 36, 48. Yeah. <laughs> I can uh, do bigger kits. <laughs> like Chuck Pinson's, which are like probably nearly 40 uh, something colors, maybe. 42, I think, was uh, Space for Reflection, if I'm not mistaken, but. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, next color. Got a message showing up about space or something. Oh. Hopefully it's still recording. Yeah, looks like it. Okay. <laughs> I'm just on my phone, so it only has, like, so much uh, memory. And I can only record for so much long. So much. Which is why my... Whip and chats are generally near an hour, so. Okay, M. Uh, six. So, what canvases is everybody else working on <laughs> these days? I know there's like a wolf along uh, campaign going on, and. Books and Diamonds, I think it's called, uh, based on uh, material from books. I think that's still going for the month. I do kind of keep tabs on events when I can, so. I don't know when the next Chuck Along is. I'm thinking it's March. I'll probably participate in that, depending on uh, where I am with... Uh, a canvas if I'm in the middle of a canvas then probably not or once I'm done the canvas that I'm on I'll probably jump into another chuck and just use the hashtag for that chuck along yeah so you'll just see me working on uh, one canvas at a time so through these whip and chats 
I'll finish the canvas, probably do an unboxing of the next canvas I'm going to work on. And then, yeah, probably whip and chat. So for now, anyway, I'm just aiming to record as much as I can when I do have the time off. So, yep. Hopefully at least a couple whip and chats per week, but we'll see. Yeah, I'll just sit down and record is basically the goal. <laughs> record what I can on my phone, upload what I've recorded, and then just remove the video off my phone to have the space. So, If I do eventually get a new phone, I'm thinking about going to iPhone. So they might have a better camera and it will be better processing speed. I don't know. I've gone between Windows and Mac. I had a MacBook, which just like died. The hard drive died on it years ago. So I've gone between Windows operating systems and uh, MacBooks. So I like being flexible that way. I'm using Android now. This is an Android. So if I go to an Apple iPhone, I kind of have an idea. I've been around them. My parents have Apple phones, so. Yeah, I'm not really loyal to any brand, really, like, as long as it works, as long as it's like a cell phone and can take calls, at least, and still works, I'm all for it. I can adjust accordingly, so, <laughs> yeah, when I did uh, play video games, I had the PS4, the PS3, the PS2, the GameCube, uh, the original PlayStation, the Xbox 360, the Xbox One, the Xbox. Yeah, I basically have a good chunk of the game systems. I did have a N Nintendo Entertainment System. That's what I started with. So I have played on the Sega Genesis. I don't think I ever had a Super Nintendo, but I have played a Super Nintendo, so I definitely had an N64. I loved uh, Super Mario 64. That was like an awesome game back then. But now on Twitch, it's uh, basically a speedrun, and they probably play it for 15 minutes to do a particular <laughs> objective, and then they just repeat, repeat. They're just finding a faster route is the speed run. So. I still like watching video game stuff. I do like the odd role-playing game. I used to play role-playing games. I like adventure games, shooting games. But ever since I meditated, something switched to my brain, and I just disconnected all my game systems. I still have them, and I still have a ton of games. Like... I just stopped gaming out of nowhere. I did get tendonitis for a while there. I don't know if it was a mix of uh, my wrist uh, getting aggravated at work. That was about the same time when I was streaming, like my later when I was streaming. I basically streamed for like a year, I think. Yeah. I did get like a hundred follower, a hundred followers, and I became affiliated. But I just, yeah, s stopped streaming, and yeah, it just wasn't catching on. My equipment wasn't all that great, so I just reverted to this basically. <laughs> so I used to be able to game for hours, and then that, as I got older, it just tapered off, which is good but I don't know now that I'm like 35 it, your habits just slowly change so you get older you start doing different things it, it's really weird <laughs> can't really explain it <laughs> uh, interests just change over time based on what you're going through and what you like doing.
so it could be considered normal too to just lose interest in something and then years later come back to it come back to a hobby or an interest so yeah it, it's normal we just go through different phases in life you just get upset or something or you're just not getting the satisfaction out of something and then you just put it aside and box it away for a while which is completely fine I've heard of diamond painting burnout a couple people just uh, stop for a bit or they couldn't do it anymore financially that that's fine that's fine no problem but yeah don't let that stop you from pursuing other interests though yeah don't let that stop you if you can't necessarily diamond paint which can get expensive the kits can be pricey but there's various kits that anybody can grab like on amazon it doesn't matter the kit that you have may not be the best quality but you're still diamond painting so just always remember that it doesn't have to be a diamond or a club or a dreamer designs it should be you should be diamond painting what reflects you the most like what reflects your lifestyle your interests your passion yeah just keep that in mind yeah don't worry about having to get a dreamers designs kit or a diamond or a club kit just follow your heart and what you're seriously interested in what you like what animals or interests you have uh, lately I helped a woman on Facebook in one of the crafting groups I think it was diamond painting group I won't go into specifics but uh, she recently lost somebody and she wanted a diamond painting that reflected uh, life and death so diamond art club had a kit in stock I think it was a Jojo's art I don't know the name of the painting offhand, but I just did a quick Google search and uh, I just gave her the link and she ordered it. And yeah, diamond painting can be give you a sense of closure or help you heal, or you just really like pretty pictures. It's an awesome wolf or something. So yeah, it should reflect your passions and what you like doing any product or project in it or craft in a sense so it should just reflect your interests in general so yeah so just bear that in mind no matter what craft you're doing miniatures coloring uh crochet knitting uh loom knitting uh pottery i don't think i've really seen pottery uh wood carving wood burning I think I've heard snippets of that. Uh, resin. Uh, resin. Uh, crafting. Uh, wood carving. Wine making, I guess. Uh, I've heard of a lot of different crafts and uh, hobbies. Uh, what miss coffee does with that machine making the coffee mugs and all that that that's kind of cool so yeah she loves doing that and <laughs> i love seeing the finished uh projects on uh in the facebook group so that's awesome and instagram of course i'm on instagram daily so i check that constantly that's awesome <laughs> Yeah, you are quite a creative community, and I, I love that. So I love seeing the posts and new content. So it's all good. <laughs> I'll just keep posting diamond painting stuff, and uh, as I mentioned, I might do some coloring pages, maybe. But it's not going to be with like fancy pencil crayons. It's just going to be like <laughs> pencil crayons I have hanging around the house, maybe. I do have quite a few pencil crayons, and yep, 
not necessarily markers, but maybe Crayola markers. I don't know, it just might be the color. I, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I do have a couple color by number books, so I don't have a vast variety of coloring books. I have a few hundred word search books though, so when you subscribe to Kappa Puzzles, you get your subscription and it's usually for a couple of years and it's like 12 or something issues a year. And it's like 24 and maybe bonus issues sometimes. So over probably like five years, I've had like a hundred and something plus books because I uh, ordered a variety or a multitude of uh, subscriptions and they automatically renewed or they I renewed them and yeah. That stuff adds up pretty quick, <laughs> believe me. <laughs> it's hilarious. So I'll be working through uh, word search books for the rest of the time, I'm sure. And there'll probably be an inheritance for my nephew. <laughs> I don't think he really likes word search, but I didn't know he liked Deadpool, so I did a Deadpool canvas for him. My brother told me that he likes Deadpool, so... That was news to me, and it was a beautiful Deadpool canvas, though, so... I enjoyed doing it. It was a square. It was beautiful. That's probably somewhere on my Facebook page or in the crafting groups. I believe I posted progress on that for Whip It Wednesday. But I just call it, I just hashtag whip artwork. So. <laughs> so yeah. Just one canvas, to go from one canvas to the other. And as I said before, I have like over 50. So the sky is the kind of limit for uh, canvases. Some of them are huge. I have Fine Soft Day from uh, Dreamer Designs and... I think that's like a meter by something wide. <laughs> a meter long and something wide. It's, I think Tia or somebody on YouTube was uh, did a few whip and chats and lives with it. And I just found it incredible. So... I had trouble getting it because it kept going out of stock, but once it got in stock, like last year, late last year, bam, I ordered it. <laughs> I can understand the Diamond Art Clubs are hard to find too, and, but they did a tremendous job last year considering the delays in, with COVID and all that, and their BOGO sales and all that, they did an incredible job of getting the orders out there eventually I know there might have been a few snags with certain people but they recovered and they at the end of last year the number of canvases that they introduced was holy cow amazing I mostly see more uh, diamond art club uh, canvases than Dreamer Designs. I don't see advertisements for Dreamer Designs as much, but I do have a couple of their canvases. So I usually have to pay customs for the Dreamer Designs, unfortunately. it It's weird. That's, so it's like an extra 20 bucks to get it mailed to me on top of what I already paid for the canvas, but they're here, and it's another canvas, so yeah, <laughs> it's just something new to try, so it's all good. If I have to pay customs for a couple of my canvases, which I probably won't be buying for a bit, but you never know. <laughs> I'll be definitely busy for a while, I can tell you that safely, so... Won't worry about being short on canvases. I 
kind of went nuts and went diamond and diamond air club. Once I joined the points program, I could have been diamond a lot sooner, but you don't necessarily have to go diamond on there to get canvases that, that you love, but it is recommended. It's just your email and you make a password and yeah, every purchase you make, uh, just earns you points and depending on how much money you spend, uh, you just upgrade rank up and you get, uh, certain perks. Yeah. And the top tier is like diamond, I believe. And you get a head start on the Saturday, uh, introduction of new canvases when they do introduce new canvases and, uh, yeah, other benefits kicked in. You just go to www.diamondartclub.com, I believe. Is that not their website? <laughs> I believe it's diamondartclub.com. Yep, diamondartclub.com. Yep. That's a given. It's not easy. <laughs> yep. I used to just like go on there and just like order the canvases without making an account, but oops, but yeah, yeah, I haven't really ordered any canvases recently except for a space for reflection for a coworker who gave it to an aunt of hers so she could try it. So I have referred a couple people or gotten a couple people interested that were curious about what diamond painting was so and I gave a kit to another friend of mine so she could try it it was a chalk pins and uh it was a tropical scene or something I forget ocean trail or something yeah I accidentally ordered an extra one of those so I just gave it to a friend of mine's wife so she could uh, try out Diamond Art Club, so, yeah. Uh, basically hitting an hour here, so. Not very many M's here. But I have placed a couple drills, so uh, we did some more getting to know you questions, and an hour goes pretty fast. And tell you the truth, really. So, that that's good. <laughs> I don't think anybody would really want longer than a one hour whip and chat. I don't know. An hour just doesn't seem like very much to me, but a couple hours for a live, I can understand that. Yeah. Cause you're just broadcasting. So I'm not sure if I'll do lives at this point that uh, I'd probably be open to it, but yeah. I don't know if there's some sort of like live schedule because certain creators have certain days in which they broadcast. I know Miss Coffee's like Friday and then yeah, Miss Crochet and Coffee's Friday and then there's probably creators after her or before her that broadcast live on YouTube here. So I don't know, something to consider in the future. And it'd just be me working on a canvas, really, so, yeah. It would just be longer in nature. <laughs> I'd have to figure out the logistics of all that, but I'm I'm sure it's pretty straightforward, like uh, I'm recording now. So, yeah. Yeah, I've been teased about having just a pink pen. I was told that maybe I should... Uh, get a fancier pen, but this works for now. <laughs> it would be nice to have a kind of fancy turn pen maybe, but I may look into it, but if I can diamond paint with just a pink pen and it works, I still have tons of wax. It's all good. I'm a single placer, so I don't imagine becoming a multi placer, so but kudos to the ones to do multi-place. That's awesome. 
I just find it relaxing placing the drills like this, so. Yeah. <laughs> so I have all the M's, there's just like a couple M's on here. Man, this corner is like very limited in terms of uh, colors here. There's a lot of white, I can tell you that, because this is like a corner of the sky up here. But anyway, um, yeah, it's pretty close to the hour, so I'll just kind of end it here. So I've been Jeffrey Morrison, and uh, this is uh, Echoes with Color, Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. It's my YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, you can find me on Instagram, which I'll list down below in the com or description comment section. <laughs> Holy cow, I think everybody's done that. Uh, list it below in the description and my, uh, I guess, Facebook page. And I can put my email down if you guys want to contact me that way for task questions or something. Or in the comments down below. So, wish, uh, hope everybody stays safe. Uh, has a great day. And uh, all the best for... Uh, what you're doing crafting right now whether it's uh, crocheting or diamond painting or anything i wish you all the best and uh, i look forward to the material that you post on uh, in the facebook groups like miss crochet and coffee etc mindy's diamond moment and all that so take care uh so if you're interested uh hit the subscribe button and uh hit the bell to get noti notified when uh I post new videos, so yeah. Take care, and uh, I'll see you guys around. <laughs> Have a great day. <laughs> Later.